In this video, we will be starting about the modes of primary data collection. In the previous video, I told that there are two sources from where you can collect the information. That are the primary sources and the secondary sources. So in this video, we will be studying about the primary sources of data collection. So there are four methods. That is direct, personal, investigation, second is your indirect, oral investigation, and third is your information. from local sources or correspondence fourth is information through questionnaires schedules which further contains two methods that is your mailing method and the second one is your enumerators method so these are your various sources from where you can collect the primary data in this video we will be studying about the direct personal investigation method direct personal investigation method see under this method the investigator directly approaches from where it has to collect the information the source that is your people etc whatever be the source of information from where you have to inf uh, get the information the investigator directly approaches the source so the direct personal investigation is the method by which data are personally collected by the investigator from the informants in other words the investigator established direct relation with the person from whom the information is to be obtained the success of this method however requires that the investigation should be the investigator should be diligent efficient impartial and tolerant the qualities of investigator in this method should be that he should be diligent, efficient, impartial, no partiality, no wiseness, and tolerant. He should have a power of tolerance, patience level. So direct, con let's say example, you have to collect uh, the information regarding the economic condition of worker of worker in iron and steel industry so what you do you go from worker to worker and collect the information and visit all the factories that manufacture iron and steel so you personally get into the contact with the informants who is giving you the information that is your workers right suitability when to use this data when this uh, method of data primary data collection is suitable number one see when the field of investigation is limited
means the area of investigation is limited is small second is a greater degree of originality is required means the original data is required the third comes information to be kept secret whenever you want to keep the information secret then you might adopt this method of data collection fourth high if you want a highly accurate data then you can use this method the fifth when direct contact with informant is required is required then you can have this method now let's study what are the merits of this method see you will get an accurate data which means you will have a accuracy fairly accurate data when collected personally second originality the data will be original these are the merits third is reliability you can easily rely on the data which you have collected by yourself related information you can get more information regarding the workers apart from their economic conditions fifth is uniformity a high degree a fair degree of uniformity in the data collected by the investigator himself from the informants because he'll be uniform he won't do any biasness elastic this method is fairly elastic because the investigator can always make necessary adjustment in his set of question whenever he requires and then what are the demerits difficult to cover large areas or you can say wide areas personal bias this method is highly prone to personal biasness of the investigator as a result the data may lose their credibility you can do some biasness while collecting the data costly you are going to every of the informant you are going having a direct and personal contact so it will be a very costly method limited coverage by this direct personal method you can have a you can cover a limited area so area of investigation is generally small less representative this may lead to wrong conclusions so these are the merits and demerits of direct personal investigation method i hope you have completely understood please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us